All right, what is up guys? Today I got this image right here and this is actually one of my favorite things to do. So this photo is from Shutterstock and they have like 10 free images that you can download right now. So let's just jump right into it. All right, now this is the image you are going to use for this. So let's put this in a new file. Got this one here and wanna make sure his head stays like in the center of this image. So this is fine and maybe a little bit smaller. Now I wanna create some epic lighting behind it. So I'm gonna leave this part as it is and get rid of this part. So remove the background with a pen tool and let's make sure we stay like this height. So I'm gonna remove this whole part. All right, now, once you got that selection, select the right mouse and click make selection. Leave the radius at one, so we don't have a hard edge and make a mask. Let's invert this, so I'll select inverse, make a mask. And now we need to fix this. So I'm gonna make a gray background here so I can see it better. And click on this mask of it, right mouse and select the mask. I wanna select this one and just brush the edge. Now I wanna rasterize this layer. So just select the right mouse, rasterize layer and I wanna select the clone stamp tool so we can make this edge better. So while holding down Alt, make like this little selection and bring it up. Parts like these where you have like one color, we can just make a selection of the color, create a new layer on top of it, create a clipping mask. And let's drop this a little bit and just brush these parts. All right, that looks better already. And let's see, we can do a little bit here. Just the end of this fur. So that looks nice and let's Remove a little bit here. Maybe also that one. All right, now need to import another background. So I'm gonna use this for the background. I used this one before in the fox and butterfly and I think this one will be really nice for this one. So I'm just gonna copy that and make sure it's, the lighting is somewhere there. Leave it like that and let's add some Gaussian blur to this. Don't forget to make a smart object so we can always adjust the Gaussian blur later on if it's not enough or if it's too much. So just gonna do it like this for now. And as you can see, we need to edit this grass a little bit. It's going way up too high. So I wanna have it like ending here and not there. So let's select this and brush these parts away. Oh, this looks better. And we'll fix this part later. Let's leave it like this for now. And I wanna blend this in together. So let's create a new your situation here and make sure it's like this and drop the situation. Let's try to drop the green. Needs a little bit more yellowish. Something like that. Little less bright because we have now like this evening scene going on and we don't see that much color at night. So this is fine. And let's drop the color a little bit more. All right, now I wanna do some dodge and burn here so we can have like this 
nice shadows and nice lighter areas. So I'm gonna create a new layer on top of it. Create a clipping mask and fill it with 50% gray. Change the blending mode to overlay and let's do some burn here. So we have lighting here. So we have dark areas here. And also here behind it, he's blocking this light. Now I wanna start with highlights. Forgot that. So start with highlights first. And then go to midtones and it's last shadows. So that's the order you wanna keep in mind when doing like these burn tool effects. So as you can see, we have now a little bit more shadow here. Let's do some midtones now and drop the exposure. And you don't want to do this too much, just a little bit on this side, behind this ear here. As you can see, if you do it too much, it gets like really red, really burnt, and you don't want to have that. So I'm going to drop the opacity when I'm done with this, because I did it a little bit too much now, and I we'll still want to keep that quality of the original photo. So this is way too much, so I'm just going to drop this. I think somewhere around 40. All right, that is fine. And now let's do some dodge to get some areas lighter. So we have lighting there. So I'm assuming this side is a little bit lighter. Let me lighten up his face. And I also love to lighten up the eyes so you can see this emotion in his eyes. I think that's really important. All right, that this was before and this after. So drop some color from the background. So I'm gonna do the same here, human situation and get a little bit less color. Now I wanna draw some whiskers here because they're all gone now because I will use the brush here to get rid of the grass. So. Just gonna create a new shape, pen tool shape and stroke, maybe two, one. Disable the fill and let's see, let's make some whiskers. Say so make one, let's put this in a folder and just create a new layer and make another one. New layer again with another one. You always want to get rid of that hard edge. So I'm just using a soft brush here and remove those. And we need to fix this a little bit. So see, this is from this layer. I'm just gonna use the clone stamp tool. Right now, I wanna get a little bit of this here. All right, now I'm gonna put these whiskers and this cup in a in one folder. So I'm just gonna select all and press Ctrl J, uh, Ctrl G, I mean, and let's add some curves here so we can make darker and lighter areas. that and let's brush some parts lighter again so I'm just gonna select the mask of it and make like area slider so we have lighting there so we need some lights on this side I don't want to have his face too dark because it ruins the photo so I'm just gonna do it a little bit all right now let's add this butterfly I got this one I think it looks nice for this image. So I'm gonna put this on his head. Like this little butterfly party head. 
and let's make sure it's like behind or between those fur of it so I'm just gonna use can even use a soft brush here so drop this a little bit can get rid of those and let's see let's make this smaller Now I want to make some shadow of it, so I'm just going to copy this and make it black. Create a mask of it and add some oh, gradient to it. And of course, blur it out. Just a little shadow and let's also make a shadow underneath it. So I'm just gonna make a new layer and make like this selection. Make sure it's black and also blur that out. Make this a little bit smaller and drop the opacity. I think this is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna drop this even more. Just want a little bit of shadow. Now let's also get rid of some of the color. Maybe a little bit more red, like it same color of the, fur, of the fur and let's put this in a folder and now we can even try out different places maybe this is better i think i like it on its head so this is okay and you can even do let's see usually i just use a grass brush for this for the fur so I'm going to try and use a grass brush here. Let's see what it is. Doing grass. And make sure to disable color dynamics. Let's bring this up. You can try like these little pieces of fur. Like it's really in between that fur of it, so like it's hiding in there. Maybe that's a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna bring back some here, like that. Because we're gonna make this like it's really there and I want to make it as realistic as possible. So I usually just play around with with a brush and wait until you get something that's that's really nice and not fake. Okay, this, this is fine for now and let's move it. Need to edit that. That. You can even try to flip this. So it goes like the same way as his head. I think this is even better. I'm gonna use this bokeh from this image. So let me select this part of it, copy it and put it in this file, make a smart object, 
and change blending mode to screen. Now I want to get rid of these parts, so I'm just brushing this away. Maybe rotate it like that and let's see, maybe not. Right, I wanna leave it like that. Now we need to do some color balance here so we get all these colors right. This is a little bit too, too orange. So I'm just gonna adjust this and drop the opacity. And let's create a curve slate on top of everything. And let's make this color, this light really pop out. So I'm gonna do this. Maybe that's too dark. Leave it like that and adjust these curves so let's see get a little bit less this green let's leave that there and some color balance So you want to have the shadows like bluish. Now I'm not sure about th this butterfly I can remove it or leave it. I don't know. And we can do some gradient here. So select the radial here and so we get all this focus on this cup here. Right, that is way too much, so just a little bit. Because I have a feeling this image is get is getting too dark and I don't wanna have it too dark. Still wanna have some light here. So yeah, that is it for this one. I hope you like this video and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.